Great Barrier Reef is the world's largest coral reef ecosystem. It's a beautiful wonder of the natural world made up of 2,900 individual reefs, which include 750 fringing reefs. It's located within the tropical seas of northeastern Australia. Thus, it is the perfect climate for corals all year round. This incredible and complex living network is totally unique in its own right. But how was this formed? The foundations of the reef were laid 20 million years ago. However, it's been constantly shaped by various geological processes and 14,000 years ago, the ice age came to an end. The melting of the ice led to the sea level of the Australian coast rising by over 120 meters. The rate of change was so great that in the very flat areas, the coastline would have moved back hundreds of meters every year. The shallow waters encouraged the growth and proliferation of corals along the vast stretch of the Queensland coast. This led to the reef we now see today. To help us understand the origins of the modern natural masterpiece, Australia's Steve Irwin is here to help guide you to a greater understanding. G'day guys, so around 10,000 years ago there was no reef at all. Where the reef is today was the original Great Dividing Range. When this was flooded by the rising sea levels, it created shallow seas essential for the foundation of coral reefs. This new shallow sea is where coral larvae found a new home, being able to attach themselves to the newly formed islands. As these islands sank or eroded over time, the coral reef was able to replace them. Some of these islands are still around today, notably the Wet Sundays, a group of islands smack bang in the middle of the reef. Now, many people think coral is a plant, but crikey, are they wrong? Coral is actually a collection of lots of little animals called polyps. These polyps use algae to harness the sun's energy and are the foundation for all life on the reef. When they grow, they take in food and they form stony limestone cases around their bodies. It's those cases that build up and form the reef. Corals can't grow outside of the water. So when they get close to the surface, instead of growing up, they grow out. And over time, this has led to the reef expanding to the size it is today. So David, with the reef as we know it today, do you think it has had any effect on Australia's coastal geography? Why, yes it does. The Great Barrier Reef does indeed act as a buffer from intense wave action and some oceanic storms that travel across the Pacific, protecting the coast of Queensland. It has also had a significant effect on the East Australian current, allowing it to carry warm water full of life down the east coast of Australia. Ecosystems like the Great Barrier Reef are truly special. Their benefit for the world is immeasurable, and we are currently doing our utmost to destroy it. As a world, we must do everything in our power to ensure its survival and the survival of the multitude of species that call it home for many, many generations to come. Thank you.